Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a brow tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys three different methods to do your eyebrows. You can use eyeshadow, you can use brow dip, you can use a brow pencil. There are so many different ways that you can do your eyebrows nowadays that I can see how it can be kind of confusing, you know, which one do you need, which one would you prefer. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do your eyebrows with all different types of products and the difference that it's going to make. And I'll also show you how I trim my eyebrows and how I just keep them looking nice and clean on a daily basis. But before I start this tutorial, just know that I'm actually gonna devour this slice of pizza right now. Yummy. No regrets. So every single day I do tweeze my eyebrows. I usually stay away from the actual shape of my eyebrow. I'll get any little hairs that I see growing anywhere kind of far. Just to, oh fuck. I almost plucked off my eyelash. And then after I do that, um, I probably only trim them about once a week. So to do that, I just use a regular spoolie brush and a pair of tiny scissors. And first I just brush out my brow and I trim the first bit by pushing the hairs upwards with a spoolie brush and slowly trimming the ends of them. Now you don't wanna to trim too much because then you're going to leave holes in your eyebrow. So I'm usually pretty careful with this and I only do it if I notice that like the ends of my eyebrows here are just going crazy and doing their own thing. So I'm gonna start with eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with Max Brunt with a 266 brush. So I always begin with light little swipes at the front bottom part of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to press a little bit harder. And then I'm just gonna shape my eyebrow and just follow the natural arch. So just do light strokes back and forth and just shape out your brow. The tail end of your eyebrow should be the darkest point in your brow. So that's where you want to pack on the most product and that's when you can have a heavier hand with the brush. With just the leftover eyeshadow, you just do a nice little rectangular shape here very lightly. And then I spread this eyeshadow upwards. Fierce not fierce. Then to get rid of any harsh lines, you're just gonna wanna brush them out with a spoolie brush. And no matter what product I use, every time I do my eyebrows, I always use MAC's Prep and Prime Highlighting Stick in Light Boost. Then I just blend it out with my Beauty Blender. So I use Sephora's Brow Gel. It's clear, and this just helps to keep the brow hairs in place. So these are my eyebrows done with an eyeshadow. And next I'm gonna show you guys how to do your eyebrows with a brow pencil. So the brow pencil, you can probably get the most natural looking eyebrows. Um, it is a little bit more time consuming if you do like a darker brow and a very thick brow because it has a very thin tip. And if you're coloring in your entire brow with that, it is going to get through the product really fast and it's going to take you a little bit longer. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to shape it outline it here and I'm not doing one straight line you can see I'm just doing little ticks because the hairs on the end of your eyebrow are usually longer it's okay if you go with longer strokes here so using a brow pencil is really useful for the front of your brow here it is a lot easier to kind of take away product if you're using a spoolie brush than it is with an eyeshadow or the creamy dip so now I'm just brushing out my brow and then at this point I would outline them just to clean them up a bit and add the brow gel to set them. So right now this is the eyebrow pencil on my brows. So now we're going to take this off and we're going to try the brow dip. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip in medium brown. I use a 266 brush. So this product is very creamy and it does give you a heavier look. If I don't want too intense of a brow, I would go in with a pencil just at the front of my brow. So now I'm just filling in my brow like I usually do. So then for that front of my brow, I just use whatever's left over on my brush and I'll go very, very gently in the way that the hairs are growing. It can be a little bit scarier to use, I would say, just because you don't need a lot of the product and it can get really intense really fast. So this is the dip brow. It gives you that really sculpted kind of Instagram brow that you often see. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. Maybe you didn't even notice a difference between the different brow methods, but I thought it'd be cool to show you guys the different ways that you can do your eyebrows and how each product goes on. And if you guys do like more of these in-depth kind of tutorials, then just let me know in the comment section. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media. I love, love keeping you guys updated. So follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button so i can see you next time and that's it for now i'll see you guys in my next video i love you all so much so much so much so much okay i love you